in this video i am going to talk about database tuning advisor uh, it's a very good tool and a very simple tool to use and once you know how to use it it's a excellent tool and it can solve many of your problems very fast what happens is basically when you are using uh, when you're using some of the stored procedures the sql that has been sent to the sql server may be taking a long time and you do know you cannot figure out because there are a lot of queries that are going on and you cannot figure out what's the problem and why it's the problems are coming up why it's getting slowed down so there is a tool that microsoft actually provides you with the sql server that's database tuning advisor that's a great tool you can actually use it and it may be able to solve most of your problems if not all while using the database tuning advisor it's very simple and straightforward first you collect the queries the stored procedure and all those things that are running slowly take the code put it in the put it in a one of the file and save it as a sql file in the sql server you can also save as a trace file. You can always run other trace file and also save it as a in a trace. But I will show it to you how to actually do it with a SQL file, which is very easy. And uh, let me show it to you. If you go to the, I have this database adventure works. I have some queries saved in one of the file, which is actually running. This is just for a demo purpose. I have some files, some SQL saved into the SQL file which has a lot of not nothing but SQL commands like stored pros executing the stored procedure select statements and there can be many in your in the real production area but here I have very few so let's go to the tool the basically those SQL commands are going to be running on the database and the database is adventure and I will show you how to actually use that SQL once you have collected the lot of SQL command into the SQL file that are creating problems, you can start the SQL server, sorry, SQL database tuning advisor. You can, okay, you, we just, because we are talking about database tuning advisor, we will talk about restrict to the database tuning advisor. And let's go to the database tuning advisor. It will ask collect, connect, yes, connected, please. Okay, and there we are. It's getting connected. As you can see now, we are in the SQL. Now, it is asking for the file name or the table name. We can give it the file name. In file name, we can give a SQL file, like SQL file, and with SQL, SQL extension, or we can give it a trace file, or we can give it a table. I will not go into the table data. In, in this case, I am going to do, use a SQL file. And in this thing, the database workbook analysis is master. Let's leave it to the default. We will select the master because we, oh sorry, we will select the adventure works because we are going to deal with the adventure works only. So we would be looking for the adventure works. We want to tune the adventure work database and so we would looking at the adventure works. And let's move to the file that is actually we want to go and use it I have the C query dot SQL which has some few SQL command okay I will just use it and I have just selected and then once there is now I can click the start analysis and I can stop the analysis and it will give me recommendations that's so simple you know that's why that's so simple you if you want to actually do not want to use all the the whole database if you want only to select the individual tables you can do it like that by selecting it and going to the selecting the individual tables as you can see and you can also have uh, tuning options that limit during the time how, how much time do you want to stop at, at what time you want to start and then the physical design of the structure indexes evaluation and all those things are there you can choose from there then there's also an advanced option you can choose from this thing and that's it and let's go to the journal and let's close it down okay okay this is 
okay here it's our database 70 out of 70 selected okay we are not going to check this master database as you can see and we are just going to look if you wanted to select some only we could have selected some right now i'm going to just keep it as because i'm going to use the sql and this will be working on only the few of the tables by naturally but if you wanted only to restrict only on a few of the tables you could have select that thing and it will do only the analysis for those table and give you the proper suggestion what the what, what those tables required need to be done with those tables whether we need to add an index or we need to change the clustered index non clustered index whatever it is it will be actually telling you here and that's it now I'm going to start the running the analysis as you can see okay there are no user tables in this database so you cannot use it so in this because this is a master database and actually in fact the basically this should be not be showing up usually this should be not be showing up as a default the reason is that system database should not be allowed until unless there should be an option here Anyway, the Microsoft allows, SQL Server allows you to actually do uh, database tuning advisor on the master and a model and MSD, which is very, very, very not correct. Okay, anyway, let's move to the. Okay, then I've, I've done, I've selected the file, the SQL file. As you can see, I can select the XML and trace file. As trace file is created in the. SQL Server Profiler, XML file, you can always, that also can be created, I think so, by using the SQL Profiler. And that's it. And then we have a table, then we can use a table, and the table we could select it if we want it. I will not go into the details. And that's it. And you saw already the tuning options, it is very simple. And let's go back and start the analysis. As you will see, it's not going to take a lot of time doing the analysis. is very fast because it's just a very small files and database tuning advisor is working and doing its analysis on it. What's wrong with the queries and other things? And it has come. As you can see, this is a it has given the recommendation depending upon the, the database adventure work. The object name is there's the contacts and uh, usually these are all the tables and let's go to the target recommendation here are the target recommendation here are the definition and let's see what it goes and gives us the if we want to look at the this is the target recommendation and this is the definition you can see this is what it is asking you to do this is asking you to create the statistics on this, 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 and you can actually copy this thing. And if you want, you can modify this name as you want. Usually, this is a randomly generated name, and you can create the SQL, and you can see the performance going up. It will also tell you how much perform because this is a very limited SQL file, so it is not much data you can see here. But still, as for the example. By by the by default, it will say the estimate improvement would be seven percent. So this is where it will tell you if you make this recommendation about changes to the rec as recommended by the database tuning error. The improvement estimated improvement should be around seven percent. That's it. And let's see what's there in the report. As you can see, the report is there. You can select from the other options from the report event. As you can see, what is happening here frequency report as other types of reports you want you can see it here and as you will see the index details and other things also listed here let's go to the recommendations progress progress was done this was executed you see as a, there's a create a stored procedure tuning options that was already we have selected journal that is about the database then we selected it and that's it that's the recommendation and you can change it and you can see the results as you can see and go and look into it and that's so simple about it data that's the database tuning advisor okay that's it thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye